Hello again, and we start with some developing news from Pyongyang. For the first time, Kim Jong-il and his son, his heir apparent, appeared live on television together at a massive military parade to celebrate the 65th anniversary of the state's ruling Workers' Party. A handful of journalists from around the world were invited to attend and to try to decipher the signals. One of them was our own Bob Woodruff. Joining us now, Bob Woodruff. Bob, what did you see? It's a spectacle behind you. It looks amazing. What did you see there that was new? Well, first of all, this is just so loud. I got to actually hold this microphone right here next to my mouth. But we did see some really, some very new things, uh, Christian, which you've, you've never seen before. For one thing, when when Kim Jong Il actually Kim Jong Il came in, sat down about two seats away from his son Kim Jong Un, uh, there was a general sitting in the middle. And the general at one point actually turned and saluted to Kim Jong-il, and then he turned and saluted his son, which is the first indication that he could be actually in power here one of these days. There's also the concern about health of Kim Jong-il. We know that he had probably a stroke a couple of years ago. He might be suffering from diabetes. Uh, but we also saw some evidence of this for the first time I saw as he's walking on his exit uh, along the balcony, holding on to the rail. He actually started to limp and really looked like maybe he was, you know, getting older every single day. So this, uh, this looks like the, uh, the, the health issue is certainly a big one. And what do we know about Kim Jong-un? What do we precisely know? Any more about him now? Well, you know, even to this day, it's a, it's a massive uh, mystery. And we know that his age is 27 or 28. We don't even know if he was born actually in 1982 or 1983. We do know that he has actually studied in Switzerland for a very short period of time. So we know that he's speaking English and probably even some German and some French. He is the, the youngest son of Kim Jong-il's of his three. Uh, and we also heard that he actually likes basketball. In fact, Michael Jordan may be the one that he really wants to see. In a word, Bob, do you think this will bring more stability to the region or not? You know, you know, we know that anytime a government has changed, you've got someone else coming into power, you, you really can't figure out exactly what the answer to that is. But there's, without question, South Korea is very concerned about it. They, too, don't know much about Kim Jong-un. And, and, and so when he comes into power, whether he's going to be exactly like his father was or his grandfather was, we still, we still just don't know. Bob Woodruff there in Pyongyang, thanks so much for joining us this morning.